Okay, so we just left uh, Winnipeg, uh, where I, where, where we were uh, really cursed, especially me. Uh, I'm cursed. I was cursed in Winnipeg this time around. There was uh, evil spirits uh, that were gunning for for me and and this campaign, and they reared their heads many times. So. Uh, but, you know, I believe in uh, good is more powerful than evil, so every time these evil spirits came, uh, the power of good was more powerful, right? It was. It was. So, anyways, we're now uh, about 250 kilometers from Thunder Bay in good old Ontario, our, home, our province. Ontario, Ontario, remember that song? Good things grow. Ontario. So good old, good old Ontario, and we're just kind of we left. It's good coming back to Ontario because we left here on October 26. It was our second day of traveling when we were heading out west. So we're kind of going to reflect a little bit here. And uh, so we're looking back. And one of the things is while we're looking back, uh, let's think about which person inspired you the most out of all the people. Which Terry. Person. Well, you give me a minute to think about that. Sure. While you're thinking. Besides you, of course. No, not me included. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, no, besides me, yeah. So you could have a few minutes to think about it. Well, of course the students are all important. Okay. Yeah, I've got some nice students. But overall, I can't think of any influence. Fox influenced me, I guess. He's, he's had issues, like you have George, and... He's still got a smile on his face and he's still planning for the future and life goes on and he's a remarkable person. Rob and I didn't get to know too well. I like the girls from Earls. Does that count? Anything you that anything that moves your heart. So that just proves how shallow I am. Well, you're, you're doing a pretty, a pretty wide range of... Uh, a, a pretty girl in a dress. You know, I don't know. Okay, that's okay. But I have to think of... You're human. ...who inspired me. Yeah, one person out of everybody, if you're thinking, looking back, like, who is that one person? Can I make a suggestion? Okay, go ahead. Was it Dave? Dave. Uh, the Winnipeg torchbearer. Um, I don't, I mean, he did what he did. I mean, I give him a lot of credit. I, I keep on thinking how courageous he is to, to take him off the street and, and uh, you take an hour of his time, you put him in the newspapers and you make him, you make him the center of attention for that hour. For me, that's very courageous because I wouldn't volunteer that. I think I'd rather run into a burning building. But yeah, he, he, um, he came through for it. That was certainly one of the many positive experiences that he had. So, I don't know. Did you say he was one of your... No, I just suggested him. Uh, just to kind of... Well, he's there. I, I just think most of the people we met have been in groups. Individuals would have been Marty and, um, and Fox and Edmonton. Oh, and Lorenzo. I'm impressed by him. Not because of what he does. He's just such a real, honest, down-to-earth person. Somebody you want to hang around with forever. So I was impressed with him. Hmm. And I don't know. 
So I guess it's safe to say that there was quite a few people to think yes. about. But nobody really stands out at this point. Okay, okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna see if I can get a hold of Monty right now. And uh, well, we might have a signal here. Well, if you do, I'll pull over and stop. Okay. I think so, yeah. Mm. Maybe not. No. Um, let me just see. Chris. No, no signal here. Oh well. What time is the TV, uh, the radio program? Uh, eight o'clock. He moved it to, so we got a shot at arriving in Thunder Bay. We're gonna be close enough. You probably have a signal. Yeah. So let's bet on that. Because my my estimate would, was at eight o'clock, maybe a quarter to eight. Yeah. Okay. We'll bet on that. So if we don't stop for anything, we should be there on time. All right. So we'll uh, turn it back on when we do the uh, radio interview. Oh, by the way. You know what I was trying to do on in Winnipeg? It just slipped my mind, like I had it planned. Remember when we were in the parking lot at Earl's, uh, getting ready for all the media to arrive? Yes. I had a, I forgot to tell you, I had a, uh, a planned radio interview, live radio interview at 12.30. What I wanted to try and do, what was in my mind, I just forgot to, because there's too many, uh, too much, Distraction. Um, I wanted, while you were handling the camera, to turn on the radio station to hear the interview live on the radio station while recording it with me over with the guys doing the radio interview. That would have been cool, right? That been, yes. Oh well. Next time we'll see if we can do that. I'll try and remember. Over and out.